let me show you what I've got because I'm just only using um, some things I've got at hand and um, here they are this is from a bicycle I have put an extension on it uh, I had two of those so here's another one with uh, one of those wheels on it and I have got mounted this weight it's not really a big weight but it's only for proof concept this is just a piece of iron and I will need it to keep the wheel in its place this is uh, from a toolbox I've got and I've secured it with two bolts so it only goes sideways I'm going to put this all together this one fits in here not completely but it fits I'm going to put it on this piece here and I'm going to put this bar uh, with the wheel on top mm. like this Tell you, I am putting it into a bucket. There's a bucket, and I made it so that it can move freely inside the bucket. Now, what's the idea? Let me check if it's all in one frame. Sorry about that. Yeah, well, sort of. What's the main idea? Um, the axis is almost, now it is in the center. And the idea is this weight is going to move if it is uh, not in balance anymore. Uh, at the current setup it seems to find uh, spot over there but it's not important. The importance is I'm going to show you how the Skinner uh, device or the John device work. I'm going to apply a sideway force of 90 degrees approximately to the weight. It may be less but up to 90 degrees and the idea is that I'm going to move this rod so I'm not going to lift up if I would tilt it like this I'm applying force to lift weight that's not what I want to do what I want to do is this rod should be rotating freely I'm going to push it 90 degrees uh, approximately uh, with the weight Where, and when the weight has arrived I'm going to do it again and I'm going to continue in a sort of circular motion. I'm going to be ahead. I'm always a little bit ahead of the weight. And the weight is following me. And if I stop pushing, it will stop rotating. And this way, I'm not touching the rod itself. I can lower it a little bit so you can see it maybe better. I'm, I'm not sure. And I can speed it up a little bit. We like speeds and no it's not a heavy weight so it's not difficult now the idea around all of this is that the force I'm now using to um, move the rod out of this balance position and I'm, I'm going to stop now because <laughs> It's going uh, always, now. it's going left and right, etc. The idea of all of this is that it's um, I'm going to use less power to move it all. Um, let me show in detail what I've got. Just a weight with a bolt, and that's it. Um, 
this here is rotating freely, well, sort of, uh, for, for a good concept, of course, we should have to attach something to the bottom. Well, okay, I think uh, this will conclude uh, the movie for now, because there's a lot more to say, but this is just only proof it's not even proof of concept, it is just concept. I haven't proven anything. Um, so the next step would be to uh, apply a, a certain force uh, over here to make it move and figure out how we can tap off some energy from the rotation below and see what will happen. Okay, hope this helps. Bye now.